Hey, there you are. Stud walker out in the shop. Hey, I'm right in the middle of making some uh, canoe paddlers. And uh, I, I'm not ready to make a whole demonstration video of how to make a couple of canoe paddlers. But I would, I got everything apart, so I, I thought I'd show you what it looks like inside. So maybe that'll help you out if you're trying to make a couple canoe paddlers. I have to admit that I stole my design off of Valley Woodworking. I just uh, saw their video on YouTube and uh, tried to copy what they did. So, anyway, let's take a look. I start off with a, a piece of 2x4 about 16 inches long and the first thing I do is uh, cut a groove down the center 7 16 inch wide and that way I can uh, take my crankshaft fit it in there if you could see but it's a it's a that makes it seven the bearings are half inch wide so at seven sixteenths you got a pretty nice uh, press fit in there it, it's tight but it it, fit, it fits pretty good so anyway you can just press it in with your thumb it takes a bit of force but anyway and that's your mechanism. You notice that this crank, uh, the crank, are offset. That's because I think it gives it a little more realistic when they're it's when they're paddling at low speeds. At high speeds, you won't even notice. But anyway, at low speed, it looks a little more realistic. One person will paddle, and a half second later, the other person paddles. So that's why that's like that. On making these cranks, you got to make sure they're perfectly straight. Let's see if I can get this thing out of there. Uh, then I cut out the shape, and I've got some eighth-inch uh, marine plywood here. Uh, this time, I soaked it in some. I put it on a cookie tray and soaked it in some water, and I also put a little bit of ammonia in there because <laughs> I saw a show on a how to make a dugout canoe and they said that the natives used to they put hot rocks and water inside when they got ready to try to uh, expand it out but they said the natives used to urinate in the water I guess the ammonia helps the wood bend somehow so anyway I put <clears throat> I cut these shapes out and I put them in some water uh, in a cookie tray for a couple days yeah, it seemed to help Anyway, and then I just screwed them onto the 2x4 and I filled up the holes with uh, some JB Weld. I epoxied some a little piece of keel or something right at the ends to help draw it together. Kind of like that. And I've got a piece that will fit over the top when I get all done. Something like that. Anyway, I'll put some little pieces of wood in here that'll give me the proper height for my decking or whatever. Um, here's my Forstner bit. I think an inch and three eighths is what I used to make those big holes. It's kind of important where those holes are at. You've got to have just enough room to fit your figure in there also. So you might have to experiment a little bit with that. This crank, uh, you need to make sure it's flat on all planes. So it's pretty important. So you gotta check, make sure it's straight this way. Make sure it's perfectly straight this way. I even like to uh, 
look down the end of it and turn it. Make sure it looks straight. So that's the crank. These figures, it's a little tricky trying to figure out the shape of the arm and everything. If you're going to carve them, <laughs> I highly suggest you uh, see how they fit before you carve them because you might have to uh, make an adjustment. <laughs> so you don't want to spend all that time carving it if it's not even going to fit. So I would try to fit everything up before I carved anything. And uh, <clears throat> these just sit in, sit in here like that. I got a quarter inch dowel. Let's see where am I at here? Whoops. So she goes up, up and down like that. I probably should have put this guy on there. <laughs> no wonder she doesn't fit right. She's in the wrong spot. But anyway. How I'm connecting these uh, figures together. Is I got my 16th inch rod here. And it's got a 16th inch or 3 16th inch rod. It's got a 16th inch hole. And I take the arm. like that and then I'll take this piece of 16th inch brazing rod and that'll lock everything together and then I'll just put dowels in here to cover up the holes so and I got some bearings in there so anyway well so when you get all done, it should look like th these guys. Anyway, that's about it for now. I hope this is useful to you. And I'll see you down the trail. I didn't really look at her face, did we? There we go.